Hi, my name is Mimi, and this is my Dracula pilot episode, The Blood is a Life Reaction video. This was a show that I wasn't 100% sure I was actually going to watch, despite the fact that I like Jonathan Reese Myers. It just it didn't appeal to me that much, or at all, really. So I went into watching this last night with absolutely no expectations whatsoever, and I was pleasantly surprised. surprised. I enjoy the fact that... Dracula is coming in to England under a new name, Alex Grayson. He's going by an American. He's an entrepreneur, and he's basically did light bulbs, so that was fun. Um, then I also liked uh, Ben. Ben I liked. I also liked the fact that Van Helsing is not only a teacher, meanest teacher, but he is the guy that brought Dracula back. Now this is where it gets confusing because there's the order of the dragon, or basically the Order of Dracula, where they just want to get rid of vampires, but he brought Dracula back. Now, I believe it's going to be because Dracula is the... Dracula. He is Dracula. He is bringing his sires to London without meaning to, or at least it's just a thing, because the blonde woman, whose name I don't know, that Dracula made out within the, um, opera house, has a vampire in her basement cellar thing where she was practicing her swords on bags of sand, which is interesting because she was a badass blonde fighting with swords and in the corner you keep on seeing a vampire then you're like, oh shit, there's a vampire. Oh shit, there's a vampire. <laughs> um, so that was fun. Well, your letter said to be discreet. I was worried you'd have to look it up. I had to. I, th I think it's going to be fun seeing Jonathan Reese Myers on my TV. His mustache makes me chuckle, as does his eyebrows. I like his hair when it's all messy, so this is kind of a new look for me. But his American accent for Dracula, for Alex, is very convincing and very fun. Now, another thing I did like is the clothing was very beautiful, and I have to re be a history nerd and properly look up 18th century clothing to, <laughs> before I critique it. But I thought it was very beautiful. I don't know if it was 100% accurate. But it's a TV show, so I'll live. But then again, you have Border Empire, where it's very, very accurate for 1920s. Um, so, heh. Yeah. Um, Harker is Mina's boyfriend, lover thing, because in a series overlook, she asks to marry him. It's cute. Um, Harker is a reporter, and Dracula had him come over so he could interview him for the newspaper that Harker writes for. And it was very entertaining because it was a very dark room, and I was like, oh shit, this is going to be such a darkly light show. And it was. And it's going to be more enjoyable to watch it at night because I also watched the other half of it during the day. I fell asleep watching, not because it was bad, but because I was up since 5 o'clock in the morning working. So it was not Dracula's fault. It actually was very good. So it was easier to see it at night in the dark than it was during the day with my really crappy curtains. But I digress. Um, the scene is Harker coming into his office parlor type thing to interview him and it's fucking dark so he opens up a curtain and a beautiful ray of sunlight walks in and Jack Flynn doesn't look so pleased but he walks in sees there is sunlight sees Harker here and shakes his hand so he shakes his hand but on his hand now is a little bit of a burn mark because Dracula burns in the sunlight motherfucker so Dracula has a burn mark he then offers Harker a drink Harker declines he offers him wine he declines and says oh I like whiskey more myself or oh, bourbon whiskey either way he has a very dark drink drinks it, and then, because his set chair is, of course, in the sunlight, as he sits down, he casually pushes it back into the shade, which I thought was very smooth, and I enjoyed that. I love that they addressed the not going to the sunlight thing. I like that he's more frequent at night. He bit several women, of course. He was nice and bloody. Um, then he had several fight scenes, one of them, well, one fight scene being with not Van Helsing, but one of Van Helsing's men. And that man killed another vampire that brought the head to the blonde woman, and another one of... Dracula's guests at his, hey, look at me, I'm a fancy entrepreneur, quick, everyone wealthy, come see how amazing I am, ball type thing in his home, where we got to see some of the main characters, some of them very skeptical, some of them very confused, all of them very confused as to what the fuck's going on, but all, of course, very intrigued by this wealthy American coming into their home, and the a sassy motherfucker, and dazzling them all, so that was fun. Um... So yeah, some of the questions we have is, why the fuck did Van Helsing bring him back? Though I believe I answered that when I started this reaction video. Um, what the fuck's going on with the blonde woman? Is she gonna have a thing with Dracula? Oh wait, the series thing shows she does in fact have a lusty thing with Dracula. But he is of course in love with Mina, who is, as it seems, a reincarnation of sorts, or a total copy of his wife that died many a year ago, along with Van Helsing's family, Dracula lost his wife, and it was sad, because she was burnt at the stake. It was bad. So it will be fun to see how that plays out. Mina is, of course, 
Lord to Dracula, then you have poor Harker, who just wants to support his wife-girlfriend thing, and that's gonna be cute to see. And of course sad, because I have a feeling Harker's going to die, or at least try to kill Dracula at one time or another. So yeah, subtle things like that. I am intrigued, I shall be tuning in more often, I'm happy I came in with low expectations, or no expectations, because then I got to be dazzled. So thank you for watching my Dracula pilot video reaction to The Blood is the Life. Thanks for watching.